What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new character bio. In this week's edition, in honor of his very first live-action appearance and hopefully large role in The Flash Season 3, we'll be delving into the origins of the dangerous and deadly god of speed, Savitar. Savitar first appeared way back in 1995 in an arc called Dead Heat during the 20-plus year period that Barry Allen was dead and Wally West had taken up the mantle of The Flash. During the course of that arc, which saw The Flash, Jay Garrick, Jesse Quick, Impulse, and many, many others teaming up to battle this shadowy, super-fast cult figure with the power to drain others' speed, they discovered his origin in the journals of Max Mercury, a mysterious time-traveling speedster from the 19th century. From parts unknown, the man that would become Savitar was born in a third world country in the early 20th century. At the beginning of the Cold War, he patriotically enlisted in his nation's air force and, after much training, became an ace pilot. Despite the fear the Cold War brought, it also brought about a period of unparalleled scientific and technological advancement. One such advancement created in Savitar's country was an experimental supersonic jet that Savitar himself was chosen to test. As he flew, the mission appeared to be a complete success. The jet reached its maximum velocity, and for a moment, Savitar was the fastest man on Earth. Then, disaster struck. Bizarrely, when the jet reached top speed, lightning swirled all around the craft. Savitar had encountered the Speed Force. Suddenly, a bolt struck the jet, crashing it into a hostile region thousands of miles from where he had taken off. Miraculously, Savitar survived the crash completely unharmed. Emerging, he was quickly surrounded by hostile forces who were convinced this was the beginning of an attack. As the soldiers opened fire, Savitar unleashed newfound super speed he was surprised to discover he'd attained. Relishing in this newfound power, he used it to kill all of the remaining gunmen. Amazed with his abilities, he became obsessed with the Speed Force. Naming himself Savitar after the Hindu god of motion, he pushed himself to become faster and faster daily, studying how his powers worked and unlocking new knowledge and abilities quickly. He soon came to the realization that he was not just a disciple of this speed, but rather the high priest of a new religion. Gathering a cult-like following around him, he quickly ran afoul of Max Mercury, who managed to outsmart the villain and temporarily trapped him in the Speed Force. But the Speedstar would emerge decades later, armed with more knowledge of the energy and even more powerful than before. As far as abilities go, Savitar has all of the standard powers of a Speed Force conduit, from superhuman speed and reflexes to metabolic healing. However, due to his studying of his abilities and knowledge gained while actually in the Speed Force, he can also give and take kinetic energy to and from objects or people, increase his already enhanced healing speed to mere seconds, as well as electrokinesis, molecular phasing, and inertia field generation. Savitar is quite clearly a doozy of a villain, and it looks like he'll be Barry's toughest challenge yet on The Flash. And you know, I'd be curious to see if they replace Max Mercury's place in the villain's origin with Jay Garrick, and have him be the one that did the trapping in the Speed Force. But that's gonna do it for this bio. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of the video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.